16th of June 2022. Hello, everybody. This is Sergey Baklikov, Baklikov Live. Welcome back. Day number two in the city of Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, the indigenous lands of Bashkir people, and my hometown, my motherlands where I was born and grew up. Uh, Bielea River, what means the White River, the biggest river in the region, the biggest river in Ufa, the biggest river in the Republic of Bashkortostan. There's the car bridge and there's the railway bridge. Look at that, the railway bridge, yet pre-revolutionary one, by the way. And here is the monument to the national Bashkir hero, Salavat Yulev. The monument is on the highest point of uh, Ufa and yet staying on the pedestal, which makes this place even higher, higher. And uh, from here, I'm going to start now my, uh, my walk today. And uh, we will go to the embankment, embankment of Bielea River, which was constructed just in 2020. It's a new embankment. They spent 5 billion rubles to construct it, which is like uh, according to the exchange rates of uh, 2020. I mean, like the average uh, exchange rates uh, back in those days when they constructed it, which was like about 70, 75 rubles. Well, it's like about roughly 65 million dollars, like uh, brand new uh, embankments. And we will go there now. We will go from here from uh, the 
Slava Tulev Square because uh, behind the uh, monument to Slava Tulev, the national hero of the Republic of Bashkortostan, there, uh, there's the square. Now we will see that. And uh, that's how we then will go down. We'll go down. There's the natural amphitheater, you know, such a, like, a, how to say, such a, if I can say so, pit, you know, in between of the uh, mountains. And we'll get there and we'll walk there. There's the White House of the Republic of Bashkortostan, the White House of where Ufa historically, historically uh, got to be. Ufa, the town on the mountain, and Ufa, you know, used to have even the uh, Kremlin. Ufa, Kremlin, and if you remember that, like all Kremlins in Russia were founded on the uh, um, high banks, uh, high, high banks of the rivers, because back then it had uh, a very practical meaning old towns in Russia were founded uh, next to the rivers because back then the river the rivers and the waterways we was uh, where where the main transportation areas uh, because it's like um, I mean with transportation ways uh, because even though like they used the horses but how many cargo you can move with the horse and how many you can move with the ships. So yeah, the uh, ships were pretty important until like, until 19th century. Until 19th century when they uh, started also constructing the uh, uh, railways. Okay, so let's get it started. Let's get it started. Welcome back to Ufa. Uh, Tim Gibson, Tim Gibson, thank you for 20 bucks uh, super chats, much appreciated. Так. Right now there goes the train, by the way. There goes the train through the railway bridge. So it's still active. Holy B. Zooks, thanks so much for decent vodka. Barley Blair, what a bastard that Barley Blair is. He took the credit for Barry Brin the other night. Yeah, that's yet yesterday's message, which was sent, uh, which was sent after I finished the stream. So it's got display today. Another place where people are hanging out in Ufam because it's a great place. You saw yourself on a high hill, high point of Ufa, one of the highest points. It's a natural, natural highest point. Amazing flower compositions. Marsha, 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 Miss Tree One, Pablo Curtis CC, uh, Michael and Natalie Zwino, Macaronesia, Justo Jose Godia, Patriot X. Nice to see you all here. Continue joining the stream. This is Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Republic. Okay. The Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Salavat Yulaev Square. Daikas for you to see. 
Are there a lot of manufacturing businesses in Ufa? Yes. Uh, Ufa is one of the biggest cities of Russia with a population of 1,135,000 residents. Street musicians. I'm the buddy O'Connor. Hi, Patricia. The guys are singing in Bashkir language. Uh, two official languages here in the Republic of Bashkuristan of Russia. Bashkir language and uh, Russian language. And here are two official like religions. Uh, Christianity, because still like most people here are most of the population are Russians. But uh, a huge population of Bashkir and Tatars who are Muslims. Sunni, Sunni Muslims. The tour. The Congress Hall. It's uh, the Congress Hall called Toratau. In 2015, it was the place to meet for the leaders of BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. And if you remember, I was here in 2015, right on this place was the media center where like thousands uh, journalists from all over the world were here. And back then I remember I was the only blogger who was there. Like not the official, like, not like, not like professional um, journalist from any certain media, but just a uh, vlogger, YouTuber. Because already back then in 2015, they knew that I'm making a lot of job. I'm making a lot of job for Russia for building the bridges between Russia and uh, the West and the world. So this is when I've met Vladimir Putin here in 2015. And now we will go down to uh, Natural Amphitheater. By the way, this is the TV center the TV center of Ufa, the main television center. And that's uh, where's the uh, studio, a uh, big studio of BST. <laughs> but it's not like bullshit TV. It's uh, Bash Bashkortostan satellite television, which is BST. Well, there's no such a word as bullshit in Russian language and uh, the abbreviation BS has nothing about that. Well, it's literally Bashkortostan satellite television. Bashkirske Sputnikove Televidenie. This is Hilton Garden Inn Hotel. One of like eight hotels, by the way, constructed initially special for the guests of uh, uh, BRICS Summit. And uh, here is the amphitheater. And this is the natural amphitheater. You know, such a, such a depth, the natural depth in between of the uh, hills here. And um, they use this, they use this for making the real amphitheater here. And if you remember, this is the place for annual festival called Serce Evrazi, the heart of Eurasia. I was taking you to one of the festivals. They install a huge stage there. And there perform the National Symphony Orchestra of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Uh, we're featuring a lot of um, artists, classical artists, opera and ballet artists. It's great. It's great. Well, this year it will happen at the 26th of uh, June. I don't know, maybe if I will be here, of course, of course I will come because in the days of uh, the uh, 
because in the days of uh, hi because in the days of well i mean when the eurasia festival the heart of eurasia festival happens well i mean like the whole city is here hi the whole how to say lawn is here like filled in with the people there is a huge stage if you remember the huge stage also here is uh, the uh, uh, festival symphonite symphonite i i believe i believe that uh, uh, already soon here will be started the construction you know one guy here is just uh, uh, relaxing yes he is relaxing together with other people uh, congress hall pay another attention to congress hall uh, let me tell you that this is the work this is the work uh, uh, it's a collaboration between the uh, Bashkir and Japanese architects. They wanted it to look like a uh, whale on a, uh, how to say, on a bank, you know, just, uh, just, uh, just chilling on a bank. Yeah, and really looks, looks like that if you're, if you're looking at Congress Hall. By the way, when they just constructed it, it was called the House of People's Friendship. But now it's called Congress Hall. Okay. So, yep. It had to look like a whale. A whale which is chilling on a, uh, on a bank, you know. So, when the heart of Eurasia Festival happens here, here is a huge stage. Also, a year ago, if you remember, here was uh, the... Uh, world folklore aids where came the participants from like about 20 countries hungary bulgaria greece serbia emir kusturica was coming here the director movie director and also the musician <clears throat> hilton garden Hilton Garden Hotel is a great idea. It's a great idea where to stay in Ufa. If you will want to come to Ufa, the capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. Nice view from there. <clears throat> People are having great time. By the way, the weather is... Even, to, even though today it's not as sunny as um, it was yesterday, but... The temperature is same as yesterday, plus 26 degrees Celsius. Plus 26 degrees Celsius. It's like about, I don't know, 75, 70, something like that. Well, it's 70 plus Fahrenheit, okay. And uh, from here I can get an access to the new embankments, which was finished. They constructed it for several years. The embankments they paid 5 billion rubles which is like about 65 million dollars for the embankments also if you've noticed uh, the parking is there upstairs and the parking is downstairs also like pretty comfortable coming here by car leaving it here and to go with your family to walk on the uh, Slavatulayev square or here on Congress Hall. And Bear 13, hello. Hello to everybody who continued joining my awesome stream from uh, Ufa, from my hometown. My hometown? My totally awesome hometown of Ufa. Here is also like a little square to walk through um, with the benches but we need to go down there to the river itself
And now the parking on even lower level. Lana asks, hello, Terry Toro, Peace Train of America. Congress Hall. You see, it really looks like some kind of a whale chilling on the uh, on the bank of the sea. So now we go down. All this infrastructure built for the brick summit that is barely used. No, no. You're just jealous again. It, it was used for the uh, World's Junior Hockey Cup. Okay. It was used for folklore aids. And uh, many tourists are coming here as well. They just uh, drop down the prices. And that's it. It used. But yeah, you you keep looking for you keep looking for uh, something for uh, something bad to say. Yeah, be jealous. Be jealous. I love it when you about Russia and about Bashkortostan now. And don't know how to bite it. Robert Lowvendi, where is the local bar? Well, here's a lot of bars. Let's. Hello, my Max Planck. Also, these hotels uh, used for. Apimondi, it's a world congress of uh, big keepers, which is a big thing because uh, because uh, Bashkortostan world known for its uh, for its honey, for its beekeeping. Another parking there. This is where the embankment begins. The embankments of White River and Ofa. The embankment is uh, 4.3 kilometers long. So you see many people are coming here to hang out, especially in the summertime, like now. It's now the best time. It's the best time.
Now it's a golden time all over Russia for chilling June, July, August, the warmest month. Oh, 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 why? <laughs> Aliya, Aliya, we used to work together on a UTV channel and now she's in Moscow. She is a goddess of uh, video editing. She used to edit a lot of, a lot of significant movies, movies, wow. right? <laughs> right yeah. uh, for example, you edited, what is your like the best works you think, you think? No, what are your favorite works you think? Ah, yeah, the Catherine TV series Catherine and uh, Fizruk. It's like the physical culture teacher, which is like was very popular in uh, in uh, in Russia with Dmitry Nagiev. Dmitry Nagiev. Okay, so what are, what are you doing here now? Okay, so you're chilling. When when you came when you came to Ufa? Когда ты приехала? Ah, two weeks ago, okay. And I came two days ago. I came two days ago. So, Aliyah already like 10 years, 10 years living in Moscow, but also like same as I, coming to Ufa from time to time because your parents still here. Yes. Great, great. <laughs> it's amazing to meet you here. Whoa, whoa. Uh, well, I follow your Instagram all the time, you know. Yes, Levaishana, you can show it, you can show it, you can show your Instagram. Yeah, we used to, and by the way, we, we left, we left UTV altogether. Uh -huh. Levi, Levaishana, Levaishana, okay. So uh, 10 years ago, we left UTV altogether. So you left it like to go to Moscow and I left it to start Real Russian Channel. By the way, now it's called Buckley of Life, my separate channel where I'm making the live streams. Awesome, awesome. Okay, okay, it was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Hope to meet you again later. Okay. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Aliyah, Aliyah Levaishana, the goddess of video editing. She is, uh, she is a uh, very, very, how to say, the specialist of a high demand. She was the editor of TV series Catherine, about Catherine the Great. <clears throat> and I remember how I left UTV channel here in Ufa in order to start Real Russia channel on YouTube and uh, she also left about the same time that uh, to move forwards and uh, to go to Moscow and now she is like having she's like having a lot of a lot of a lot of orders she is a uh, very well known specialist the video editor and uh, she's making her show on YouTube all the as well now it's called like Montajorka, which is like video editor in to say gender Canadian octopus hi So that's how I uh, came down to uh, I came down to uh, the embankment the embankment of uh, Bele River. So you see, I was right there. I was right there, right on the top. And uh, for only 30 minutes, little by little, I came down here. To the embankments. Well, I will not go there. I will not go there, like to the very beginning of the embankment, but so here is also the parkings. So it's pretty, it's pretty comfortable to come here by car. Okay.
So, the road for the runners and uh, actually uh, the bicycle lane, the lane for the electric scooters. However, people love walking by the bicycle lanes too. This is a uh, pretty great surface for running. This is a great surface. And that's for pedestrians, just to walk through. Here is the ferry, here is the ferry. Uh, if you will come here by day, uh, here is like kind of decent two-level ship, two-level ship. And uh, here is like two levels of uh, the embankments. It's like lower level and upper level. Uh, cotton candy and many kiosks like this with everything ice cream drinks burgers you see burger tooth what means burger here burger here uh, not only burger but you see shawarma benches so this is a totally new embankment they spent 65 million dollars to construct it and now people enjoying the time people enjoying the time there's the uh Cachelia. I forgot this word, Cachelli. Swings, okay, the swings. The swings there. The uh, optics. Hello, uh, Scott Wheeler. Yes, yeah, swings. There's swings, and there's a little sport complex. By the way, they have the swimming pool, outdoor swimming pool there, which is available even at winter. So it's like. Even at winter, you can swim outdoors in that swimming pool. Come on, come on, girl. You need to burn some calories. Binoculars, yes, binoculars. Dream Seagull, hello, Dream. Anshu Ray, Cyberflyer 1 everybody so such an embankment which is in total 4.3 kilometers long and this they still develop it develop it because the second stage now even um, more important than the first stage I mean like yeah they constructed it but now need to fill it in and uh, the administration of uh, the embankments always open for any kinds of projects like uh, they are open for all the ideas of what to do here for example you see uh, they have such a kiosks if i can say so arenda means rental if you have an idea, okay, come here, rent the place, start business. Try to find what's interesting for people, what's gonna be on demand. So you see here as well, such as wings, people are swinging.
it wasn't that sunny today but you see in the evening finally i see the sun Look, uh, that boat also like seem, seem a uh, walking boat. Yes, this is also walking boat. Okay. So you see here, same as in St. Petersburg, same as in Moscow, also enjoying the uh, river, river rides. This is a sport complex which is called the Youth Unist, Unist, with the uh, with the swimming pools outdoors. And I keep walking all the way through the embankments of the White River, Bele, Bele Rika, White. Dre, break fields, beautiful pictures. Let's go fishing. Well, I might would go to fish, to fish, but I have no roads. And uh, today it's just another idea. Today it's just another idea. Today I just like making the general review of the embankments. Hello Diego Molinares. Oh look one one more one more walking. Nice, nice. Hi to Oxford, hi Ploikin. I got back to the upper level of the embankment. <clears throat> the road for runners keep going. Also karaoke, karaoke club is here. People are singing karaoke here. Hello, Alex Gordon. Lagging sometimes. Well, maybe that's because I am under the mountain. Maybe that's why. CJ, your home. Hi, Sergey. Your hometown is gorgeous. Nice to hear. Enjoy the time here. Enjoy the time. I need you to enjoy. You see, I told you about the swimming pool. So that's it. You see now the guys there in the swimming pool, enjoying their time. The outdoor swimming pool right in the city, right on the embankment. Oh, <laughs> 
Я как всегда не узнаешь. О, хай, хай. Узнаю, узнаю. Да. Моя дочка, это Анжелика. Хай. It's your daughter. Hi. It's uh, the girl we used to study at school together. So she is the uh, same age as mine. Angelika. Angelika Yenikeva. But now she's not Yenikeva. She is now having the last name of her husband, I believe. I continue walking all the way through the embankment. Embankment. Whoa. An awesome day. Awesome day here. So now here is the cafe, summer cafe. How this embankment has been developed since we visited Ufa in 2016? Well, 65 million dollars was not spent for nothing, right? It's a great place for the roller skates, for electric scooters, bicycles, for running. <clears throat> awesome river, Agadel, from Bashkir language, yes, Agadel, what also means the white river and Bashkir language. Some people just enjoying the, riding the motorboats. Lana S, thank you so much for your super chats. 500 rubles through donation alerts. <clears throat> you can now support my channel with donation alerts. And I uh, can get your message on the screen as well. I did it due to your numerous requests. But when I was setting it up, I figured out it's much better than YouTube Super Chats because in a moment when YouTube uh, taking 30% from each Super Chat, uh, Donation Alert takes only 7%. So 30 or 7. A huge difference, right? Патриотс на кумыс. Спасибо за стрим. Thank you, колбасный патриотс. 10 bucks through donation alerts. But I think I need to um, make some updates. I need to make the font bigger. Yeah, there you can work on how the message will look on the screen. Okay, now let's get back to the uh, uh, lower level of these two-level embankments. This is the bus stop. Bus stop. And look, right there, this is the White House. The White House of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia. That's where is the office of the head of the Republic of Bashkortostan. 
you know, the heads of the the heads of the republic in Russia used to be used to be called the presidents, the presidents of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia, for example. But like about seven, maybe eight years ago, they were renamed to the heads because we have only one president, Putin. Putin, the president of all Russia. Vladimir Putin. Do you know Putin? I believe tomorrow gonna be a great time here because tomorrow will be Friday, Friday and Saturday. Look, also the decoration of uh, just uh, iron and the uh, concrete elements. the White River. By the way, do you know that uh, through White River you can get to Neva River? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like you will, you will, you will ride for a long from one river to another, but finally from here you can get connected with St. Petersburg. <clears throat> and look, also awesome fences where it's like Ofa in Bashkir language, Ofa in Russian language, and Ofa in English language. The flowers everywhere, nice flowers. But now here still goes the second, even more important stage. It's like filling the uh, embankments with things to do. Oh, look, that's the uh, tour boats I, I was talking about. So yeah, the time is 8.50. Many people are walking. It's called Chaika. The name of the boat is Chaika Seagull. Okay, now nice to see now that uh, the uh, uh, tour boat business develops again. People are taking rides. Around the White River. This is the toilets. The toilets. One off. <coughs> There's the bridge. Actually, two bridges. Two bridges. This is the after bridge. The embankment yet yes, will continue behind the bridge as well. This is a long embankment, 4.3 kilometers.
and during the time you're enjoying the time here in Ufa let me let me know Hi, good fella. Hi, Anna from Russia. Everybody. Awesome, awesome time, awesome day, awesome weather, plus 26 degrees Celsius today. Hi Jennifer, Manu 103. Everybody, oh look, the river is actually high, look. The river is high, wow. The river is high these days. Yeah, because you remember I told you that uh, for the first two weeks of uh, June, two weeks, here where the rains, and uh, my, my, my mom told me that that was disaster. Okay, that was disaster. I mean, like the summer started, but there were rains, rains and rains. And only when I came here two days ago, the weather stabilized and finally, finally came uh, like really nice plus 26 plus 28 degrees celsius temperature the sun no rains so this has affected the level of the river you see how many steps there yes the river level is still high So you see, I bring the great weather here like a god. I wonder if I'm god. Dude. Where is your fishing pole, old man? <laughs> I'm actually not a fisherman at all. But my father-in-law, he is a big fisher. He is a big fisherman. I think ones just need to go with him for one of his fishing sessions. And he also loves the ice fishing. Like, you know, he carry all that stuff with him. Like, you know, he's making the holes in the ice and fishing there. And he's just enjoying the time. Here is like fishing, it's mostly just to enjoy the time. It's not about fish. It's about finding your zen through fishing. Because imagine they are driving like maybe uh, like 100, 200 kilometers to one of the lakes and the rivers. And the they go to the middle of the river frozen river where is nobody and they are just sitting there in a total quietness or even in the summer time they go early in the morning like it's five o'clock five a.m they are already on the river and uh, enjoying the time while everybody 
sleep yet. Eleventh, eleventh, Michael Schneider, the reckoning high guy. Okay, so uh, getting back to the upper level of the embankment. Look at that bridge. There's the bridge. There's the park. There is the park upstairs. And uh, that's a nice bridge like steaming bridge cable bridge but it's not through the river it's uh, through pit nice surface here The Soviet bridge. Here is uh, two bridges staying next to each other. We are under the bridge now. The old bridge and new bridge together. Well, now they both are old. I mean, relatively old. There's the beach, official beach, one of official beaches. I mean beach, it's like B-E-A-C-H, not B-I-T-C-H, okay? Hello, Peter Jan Staker. Hi, Dinka. Bush electric scooters, same as in St. Petersburg, same company. Uh, electric scooters are big now everywhere. They are big. Cotton candy. Cotton candy. There's another toilet. An amazing toilet there. Coffee, coffee. Wagon. Here goes the continue of the embankment. As I told you, the embankment is uh, 4.3 kilometers long. Oh, I'm absolutely surprised with the amount of tour boats now. Look. Whoa. <clears throat> you 
you see as soon as uh, a quality public space appear somewhere it is immediately attracts the people and it is immediately gives the life for different kinds of business food drinks tour boats Hello, Mort Adel. Hi, everybody. You guys continue joining. Now we see uh, the very beginning of the sunset. The sun goes down little by little. And by the way, this is exactly the place where I have started my very first episodes of uh, Real Russia at the 24th of September 2012. But back then, these embankments looked totally different, totally different, because now what we see, it's a new, it's totally new embankments, which they finished constructing in 2020 only two years ago and uh, the budget of the construction was 65 million dollars uh, back then it looked totally different way simpler but I was staying here in front of this bridge and I said, hello, everybody. Welcome. I said, welcome, my dear American friends. And then so many people were asking me, okay, so I'm not American. Am I welcome? The thing is back in those days, uh, somehow YouTube like was considered by me as uh, mostly an American, you know, social network. And so that's why I addressed and then to everyone I had to explain like yeah like yeah dudes I mean everybody welcome I didn't mean it when I said like that only Americans are welcomed so the bridge and look whoa look Yes, these days Bele, Bele River is really high. That's the result of uh, not really successful in terms of the weather beginning of the summer here in Ufa. The first two weeks of June were awful. Rains, rains and rains. Okay, rains, rains and rains. And only when I came here two days ago, I bring an awesome weather. So, uh, damn, here is, uh, I see this barge with the coffee there, but surprisingly with uh, some music from 1990s. So is this something like a corner of 1990s, like back to 1990s? Yes, coffee. Blue de Nugla dishes on coals. That tour boat is already going back. Already going back. So this is the embankment of the White River. It keep going 4.3 kilometers. 4.3 kilometers the distance of this embankment
you'd keep going all the way to there. But I think I will not go that far because that part seems like undeveloped yet in terms of like uh, in terms of like what to do there. Here still goes the second stage. After the construction, it's yet in a process of like filling it with things to do. Oh, look at this! Wow! Such an old school ship with the wheels. Whoa! Whoa! Look at this! Damn, what an old school ship! Whoa! It's really an old school one. Whoa. The sunset is going. You see, uh, here people are fishing. I see three guys with the rods. Yes, you can find the fish. Hi, buddy. Brin. You know, buddy Brin, I have to show you something. Buddy. Buddy, you hear me? Look, now I will show you something. No white knights in Ufa, no, no, because uh, Ufa is far from being on the 60s latitudes. It's way below. You see Barley Blair, 20 bucks. What a bastard that Barley Blair is. He took the credit for Barley Breen the other night. Yeah, I finally got it. I got it. When. Uh, you sent 20 pounds two days ago for Victoria, Barry Breen. I called you Barley Blair. <laughs> now it's time to recover the fair, okay? Yeah, Barry, Barry Breen, thank you very much. Barry Breen, Barry Breen, thank you. more of uh, fishermen you see uh, like you see this this part of the embankment like it's less developed in terms of like having the stuff for uh, the uh, for the regular pedestrians like way uh, more c comfortable for them just to stay here and make fishing here and bear 13 ofa ofa thank you so much and bear Thank you for your uh, contribution to my totally awesome channel. Hello, no way, Jose. You guys enjoy the time. Enjoy the time. Wow, and here is the guys just bring hookah, hookah, and enjoying the hookah, hookahs here. Yes, it's uh, legal here just to stay with hookah and smoke the hookah. Also, you can drink just beer. Белая, белая река, 
and uh, then there's the sunset above the white river white it's it's uh, english for russian white uh, biele biele it's <laughs> biele it's russian for white and in bashkir language it's called agedel agedel more fishermen yeah the guys are just enjoying their time Hello, Marina Magomedova, El Bureau 14, Broski Bear. Nice to see you continue joining. Uh, in St. Petersburg, I had a chance beginning the live stream later. When more people up, I mean more people of my audience. But here you see in Ufa, Ufa is way more east. It's like 1800 kilometers. Uh, east from St. Petersburg so here the sunset comes way before it comes to St. Petersburg and here is no white nights not even close The local time is 9.13. Meanwhile, in St. Petersburg, it's yet only 7.13. And uh, there's like four hours until the... ...hours. Yes, I know for the time it's like plus two hours, uh, plus two hours to Moscow and St. Petersburg. Moscow, St. Petersburg in the same time zone. So now while in Moscow and St. Petersburg it's only 7.14, 7.15, here it's already 9.15 and already like the beginning of the sunset. Ufa is way more s south from the 60s parallel of the latitude. So here is no white nights. White nights actually begins from the 60s, 60 degrees parallel and the higher in latitude. Two fifteen a.m. in Australia. Oh, it's a deep night in Australia already. Why don't you sleep at two fifteen? The fence 
is still the same. It says Ufa in Bashkir, Russian and English language. Juan Van Eden, love the walk, enjoy, enjoy this, enjoy this big time. Amazing embankments, new embankments in Ufa, embankments of the White River. IMIX SPB Hi IMIX The beautiful southern Ural Nature and landscape are all looking amazing Yes, not only Ofer is beautiful But the whole Republic of Bashkurdistan And uh, the southern Urals districts The golden sunset. The sun is still there. It goes down, but it's still there. Okay, after all, I was not planning like to go through the whole embankment, but okay, I did it. Totally amazing Ufa, totally amazing White River, the Republic of Bashkortostan and Russia, the land of freedom. Welcome to the land of freedom. Judy Butterfield, hello. Hi, Stolen Earth. 
Sergey looks happy to be home, Daddy Toro said. Yeah, I'm usually like pretty excited for the first three, four days. But then I'm beginning that I'm beginning to miss St. Petersburg. An awesome time. Okay, so that was 4.3 kilometers of the embankments of the White River in Ufa. The new embankments, the construction finished in 2020. Now I gotta go in the opposite direction. Look at my face. The sunset shining on it. Golden hour. Steve Campbell, Ofa for the win. Yes, enjoy, enjoy this city while I'm here before I get back. Before I get back to St. Petersburg. Honesty 2022 Bella Ufa. It means beautiful Ufa, right? Yes, Ufa. The capital of the Republic of Bashkortostan of Russia and my hometown, the city on a mountain.
makes you feel good to be alive, Sergey Baribrin. You're absolutely right. People are totally enjoying their time, totally. People are sitting, walking, riding the bicycles, riding the electric scooters, running. Fantastic. Yes, that's a fantastic sunset. What is the special dish foods in Ofa, Teritora? You know, you better find my video called um, Bashkir, traditional Bashkir cuisine. Just search for traditional Bashkir cuisine, uh, real rush or buckluck of life and you will find my video there in that video i went to the restaurant which is called the azik tulek azik tulek this is uh, the restaurant of bashkir cuisine there i try to try i try to try i try to uh, digest all kinds of like the most popular dishes which are considered as uh, the traditional Bashkir food. <clears throat> I ate there the horse meat, horse meat, you know, chak chak, kastabri. Yes, the horse meat here in the Republic of Bashkortostan. Historically, it's a normal thing. Historically, it's a normal thing. You see, uh, I just now went that way. When, when I walked that way, the sun was still up. Now, 10 minutes after, the sun already down. It's already below the, that hill where is the White House of the Republic of Bashkortostan is located. Chucky horse burger is super nice. I'm sure here you can find horse meat cutlet burger. Nightbot, remind about my telegram. Yes, join my telegram. Oh, is it rain there? Look at that sky. Oh, looks like rain.
the White River. Honesty 2022, chill vibe, beautiful sunset. Enjoy. To me, it seems like this is the rain. Tentum, beautiful, hi Tentum. Rob, beautiful, good. Totally enjoyed the time. Macaronesia thinking, yes it is. I hope the rain will not come here. <laughs> By the way, here is not many places, not many places to hide from the rain on this embankment. Why doesn't the river have a uh, Russian name? Who said that? It's called Belia River, which is Russian for white. White River, Belia River. Or in Bashkir language, it's Agidel. Do they chain picnic tables down so people don't so people don't steal them? Well, let's see. I don't know. I never saw that.
it's totally awesome to see that you enjoyed the new embankment along the uh, Biele or White River or Agidel River in Bashkir language it sounds like Agidel Hello limp carrots That's when I do magic mushrooms. Julia Butterfield, thanks for a super sticker. Oh, the rain started look the rain started so yeah that was the rain and now it came here there's the monuments of friendship the monuments of friendship One of the tour boats parking just arrived from one of the tours. I was absolutely surprised to see how many tour boats here now. Which is awesome. We got back to this cafe. Now I'm gonna go up the monument of friendship there. You see that phallic stella? That's the monument of friendship. And another boat also just uh, arrived. And I go up It's raining, yes Brian, Brian Holland, it's raining, but it's not that much, fortunately Good fella, drink for you and our friend Timur. The здоровье братушки. Good fella, thanks so much. Thanks so much. Also here I see the transfer. I never saw before. It's just like underpass to the other side of the street it's cool
I remember here used to be just uh, the normal crosswalk with the traffic lights. Now they got the underpass. This is a bus stop. Now let me go through the underpass and I hope the connection will not get lost. How is the connection? Yes, was some buffering, but that expected. Okay, I'm on the other side. I was just there. Now on the other side. I believe the connection is recovered now. The monuments of friendship. The friendship of Bashkir and Russian people. Jennifer, you do such a wonderful job with these amazing tours. The only thing better would be there in person. Thank you so much. Thank you for appreciation. Randall Bozeman, hi. You know, it's like a little hill here. I go up just a little bit and immediately already feel like how spoiled I've got in St. Petersburg where it's like totally flat land everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I got used to flat land in St. Petersburg. But this is some exercise. The embankment is actually not far from Gastine Dvor. Gastine Dvor is now like maybe in less than a kilometer from here. Lenin Street, Gastine Dvor.
But you bring your rights. This is exercise. <coughs> so now this is the street which is called Ocean Street. And it leads right to Gastine Dvor. the police there is one of old pre-revolutionary uh, fire departments you see it's a watchtower watchtower of fire departments <coughs> but here are souvenirs But now it looks like this is an office building. Restaurants. One of really nice examples of the renovation of an old pre revolutionary 19th century residential buildings. What was your first job in Ufo, Sergey? I started working in 2000s. In 2000s year, I worked on a local radio station as the radio jockey. I was only 16 years old when I've got my job in the local FM radio station, which is called Channel One or First Channel. It's a 101.6 FM the radio station is still up and running 101.6 FM and now here is the prospects Salavat Yulayev prospect Salavat Yulayev Avenue you remember we started the stream with from uh, Salavat Yulayev monument and Salavat Yulayev square here is also the Salavat Yulayev hockey club and this is Slovat Yulayev Avenue. One of the main roads here. And there goes the construction of one of the biggest Muslim mosques in Russia. It's called yet under construction. 
That will be finished soon. Ar Rahim. Ask. Because the Muslims. So Slovakia Life Avenue, Slovakia Life Prospect, Ar Rahim Mosque, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's really great, it's really great, um, you know, road, which goes like through a half of this city, it's really a nice connection with uh, so many different parts of this city. Are there nice houses in Ufa for sale? Sure, sure. I mean, a lot of private houses and amazing houses in the uh, sub suburbs, suburbs, suburbs of Ufa. A lot of them, a lot of them. Ar Rahim. Ar Rahim Mosque. KKN66, what the population in St. Petersburg? Five million, but we are in Ofa now. Here is 1.1. 1, 1. 1 million, 135,000 residents. I still go up you see let me tell you once again that and differ from st petersburg ufa is on the hills is it possible to visit that beautiful mosque no you see it's under construction yet later yes now, nope. This pavement needs some... Street soon will be renovated with all this old pre-revolutionary... <clears throat> no, you no need to be a Muslim to enter the mosque. Julia Rossi, thanks for the love.
Yes, these buildings are from Terry's times. It's the end of 19th, beginning of 20th century. And all this district is about to be renovated. So now here is already the uh, Orthodox Church. Orthodox Christian Church. MU, hello MU, hi Sergey. I haven't been online for a while, great to see you again. And uh, great, you're visiting home, oofa. Yes, welcome back, K, K, N66. Thank you for 20 bucks super sticker. This is uh, pretty much appreciated. No, it's not closed and not run down. Laura Powers, hope the history will be accurate and filled with meaningful lessons for everyone. Cooks Johnson, hello Sergey from Seattle. Hi to Seattle. Am you how much changed in Ufa, Sergey? How have you now been in Saint Petersburg? Ufa is uh, changing for better. All the time, the new objects, new renovations, like here, you see, they started the renovation. They created the. Uh, uh, Art Quadrat public space. They constructed an amazing embankment where I just walked for two hours. I'm now walking in direction of uh, Gastine Dvor. Another old fire department, which is still the fire department.
three revolutionary fire departments with a watchtower well now everybody have just phones to call but back then there wasn't phones and just was need to stay up and watch the town around Okay, I almost came to Gostiny Dvor. Ulfa fashion. I'm only 300 meters from Gastiny Dvor, the guest yards, the mall of 19th century. There's the swimming pool. Indoor swimming pool called Burevesnik. So that's already uh, the corner of October Revolution Street and uh, Lenin Street. Goji, I once was taking you here for a breakfast. Okay, Gastiny Dvor. There's Gastiny Dvor, it's Lenin Street. 
the central streets of the historical city center. Let's walk through Theater Square again. It's always great to walk through Theater Square. So here was one of the oldest McDonald's restaurants in Ofa. Now they are in process of rebranding to Vkusne i Tochka, what means tasty and that's it. Twenty-four hours coffee shop called Coffee Like. Coffee Like. The theater square with the fountain called Seven Girls. The old McDonald's, yes, but it's getting back now. McDonald's getting back under the new brand. It's called Vkusne Tochka, what means uh, tasty and period, or tasty and that's it, or tasty and full stop. There's uh, the Bashkir State Opera and Ballet Theater, where his career started, Rudolf Nuriev one of the most significant ballet dancers known all over the world. And uh, this is the fountain called Seven Girls, the legend uh, by the, I mean, inspired by the legend about Seven Bashkir Girls. This is actually a dancing fountain sometimes here they are playing the Bashkir music, the national Bashkir folk music, and the fountain is dancing. Ok, 
Okay, cool. Okay, guest in the door. The guest yard. Not as big as in St. Petersburg. But Ufa is not as big as St. Petersburg. Avren Lounge, one of the uh, cafes, Avren. Uh, bikers of Ufa love to hang out here. Scarlet skirt. If you remember, in the winter time, here is the ice skating rink. Now here is the bar called Shihan, and uh, Shihan it's the biggest brewery company. It's a local brewery in the Republic of Bashkortostan in the town of Sirlitamak. It's only 120 kilometers south from uh, Ufa, and. Uh, uh, Shekhan, it's like one of those unique mountains. I remember I was climbing. I was climbing. I was climbing on uh, Shekhan Mountain. Pircini, Pircini restaurant. There we go in direction of communistic. Communistische ulice, streets. Oh, Gazprom, Gazprom Bank. Gazprom Bank is everywhere. Gazprom, the energy giant of Russia. Hi. And this is, if you remember, the square where they have the monument to. Uh, Lenin, Vladimir Lenin. It's the bar called Darling, I call you later. If you remember there, I once filmed the video with Anton Sevidov, the leader of Tesla Boy Band, when he was coming just as a DJ. Sometimes, um, sometimes uh, Anton Sevidov perform as just uh, a DJ. Hi, man. So, отлично. This is Vkusny Tramvajcik, what means tasty tram. They are making shawarma there. Oh, shawarma, shawarma. Yes, because shawarma it's only in St. Petersburg. Only in St. Petersburg they call it shawarma. In all the rest of Russia they call it shawarma. But sometimes they have the places called uh, shawarma and like shawarma, Peter style, St. Petersburg style. So here is the parking, as on ground, as underground parking. That's for people who are coming to Gastine Dvor. There's many things to do. Uh, many different restaurants, um, KFC, Ural Siberian Bank, uh, Perikryostek, uh, Perikryostek Supermarket, Perchini Restaurant. Darling, I'll call you later. And uh, here is uh, the art object which is dedicated to the people's freedoms. The people's freedoms. Because Russia is the land of the real freedom. The real freedom. Not imag imaginary freedom. Личность? 
you see the reputation, personal life, liberty, freedom, the freedom of choice, the freedom of religion, justice, duties, the freedom of language, the freedom of choice, public association, law, the color of skin, taste, conscience, individual individual law moral morality equality the personal life like residence convention creed human rights Welcome to Russia. Welcome to the land of the real freedom. The real freedom. Kumpan, Kumpan Cafe. KFC. So I'm a communistic street. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, now vi let's visit Art Quadrat again. Butchery, the butchery place, burger place. Okay, so uh, Art Quadrat, getting inside of Art Quadrat, Art Quadro or Quadrants, it's like really like technically the whole Quadrat in terms of like block, it was uh, the uh, like mostly the block of abundance, half abundance old buildings because it's like the historical city center, but now it's totally renovated and turned and turned into the best and most favorite place to hang out for youth of Ofa. Here is the stage. Well, I used to show this many times. And this place is definitely inspired by the places in St. Petersburg like Sevkabel and Etage. For example, like this concept of a uh, containers, the ship containers that they used for for commercial activity. For business. Like junkies. The place. It's uh, the closed store. Miasa. Miasa no uglach. The meat on charcoals. Shurma. Shoka shok. Ice cream, sweets. Churros. Not, not even sure what it is. Funky Dogs Lounge Bar. Oh, hi. Hi, man. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I'm fine. And you? Same here. Same here. I'm making now the live stream. Ah. Отлично, отлично. Передавай привет. Okay. I'm now making the live stream <laughs> to my audience. They absolutely enjoy Ofa. So uh, here in Ofa, okay, see you, see you, man. Uh, here, uh, from time to time, I see uh, many people because, I mean, like for 33 years I lived here. So, of course, I have a lot of like bodies and especially here, like, I mean, many people are coming to hang out here. Oh, look, yesterday we saw how the track they used to install this uh, LED screen and it's already working. 
Yeah. This is uh, this is how the uh, Art Quadrat looks from the uh, copter. Oh, Arthur. Choke Cafe, Croissant and Chocolate Cafe. There's the bar, wine bar called Должно подышать, must to breath. Okay, must to breath. Yes, the wine must to breath. Время волшебства, the time of magic. There's the entrance to the most, the best and most popular uh, club in Ufa. It's called Club Michti. It means club of dream. It's uh, actually the game of words. It may mean club of dream or dream club or the club called dream. Hi, hi. Always uh, amazing, friendly atmosphere in Art Quadrat. Toka Pizza, Pizzeria, Pizza and Lemonades here. Fresh seafood, noodles. Hi. How are you doing? Это означает как дела? Good, good. How are you? Можно сказать how are you doing? От контекста зависит. Let's keep moving. The club is there. Club Michti. Club called Dreams. Amphitheater.
so that's the OFO vibe. Honesty 2022 for musicians. I don't have any cash, so I will make you the refunds. Refunds. Also, here musicians perform not for tips. Here they are paid with art quadrat. Sherlock Holmes pub. So this is Ofa vibe. Wine and cheese place. Это a stream. Johnny Cake. El Toro, the meat restaurant, Siniva, Siniva bar, and that's where probably I will get some beer now. Dudes, I'm gonna get beer here. In the end of the stream, gonna get some beer. <laughs> German beer, Irish, Netherlands, England, Scotland, Belgium, United States. Czech Republic, cider, craft beer. Oh, Bakunin Brewery, St. Petersburg. Is Bakuninsky stout. No, they have Banki, Mosna. Okay, I'm gonna drink uh, stout from Bakunin, Bakunin uh, Brewery. It's a brewery of St. Petersburg. Yeah, so here in Ofa, we'll have a connection with St. Petersburg. It's now great, you know. Now, this is the place where I'm gonna connect. Ufa and St. Petersburg. Да. Да. Это стаут, да, Бакунинский? Это молочный стаут. Да, да, окей. А там у них еще есть какой-то один стаут. Овсяный у вас нету? Овсяный есть, есть еще имперский. Их нет. А, понял.
Бакунин Брюри, Сейн Питтсбург. А у вас бывает этот Джоус Брюри? Да. Сейчас тоже есть, да, наличие. Да. Так, сейчас. Мир, мир карт. Not Visa, not MasterCard, Mir, Mir. Okay, the payment went through. Be a nice finish of today's live stream with uh, some stouts. Stout from St. Petersburg, Bakunin Brewery. Oh, прекрасно, прекрасно, milk stout, uh, dark and heavy Baklakov style. Good fella. Uh, Alex Gordon, that small guillotine. It's super hot. Finally, it's super hot in Russia. No, I drink for you, for your health. Um, since watching your videos, Sergey, I cannot see any negatives living in Russia. Yes, um, this is really great that you guys, uh, well, that for some of you guys, my videos helps to understand that Russia is mostly not what the West portrays to you. The Western media, especially mainstream media. When is the next road trip? I don't know. I don't know because unfortunately the beginning of road trip wasn't that good as I planned because in my turn I did everything what I just could. I mean 200% of what I what I could I did. I started very early, very early, already in the in the middle of April, okay? I started early. I rented the car. I went all the way to the edge of Russia. I drove 1500 kilometers just to start the road trip. I came to Tereverka Fisherman village, which is located on the edge of Russia, one of the most northwestern points of Russia. I came to the bank of uh, Baren Sea. When I was staying there, there's spot and sea. And if you imagine that you will go straight forwards, you will stuck just into the North Pole, okay? So there's nothing, it was the edge of Russia. And I've got copter with me. I filmed two towns and cities, like two locations every three days, okay? I filmed as vlogs, like short vlogs, where was maximum of information in a minimum of time with the aerial shots, with like maximum of information, like really like very dynamic, awesome vlog. 
I was filming it by day and yes in the evening I was making the live streams so okay so look unique locations far away locations remote places many of them nobody filmed before in English language you want to vlogs okay vlogs you want to live streams live streams uh, you want aerial shots okay I've got my drone with me okay everything for only two weeks I filmed 10 locations Cheriberka village Murmansk Olenigorsk Monchigorsk Kirovsk Apatite um, Kandalaksha Kim Bilamorsk Segeja But dude but dudes, I mean, I hardly covers all the expenses. Like, not many people really need it. Okay, so that was disappointing. I mean, in my turn, I did everything. I've got like only two members for all the road trip. I've got two members joining. Okay, I mean that was disappointing. Now there are so many Russian vloggers who are just sitting at home. They go nowhere. And all they do is just like saying trash about their own country. I mean, and uh, you guys holding them on hands, okay? But those ones who do the real deal, you're taking for granted. So I don't know. I don't know, dudes. That was disappointing. But I'm still making maximum in St. Petersburg and now here in Ufa. Yesterday I was taking you and uh, like I was taking you through the whole historical city center, today through the embankments. I will take you to my village. You're going to the new McDonald's. The new McDonald's opened only in Moscow so far. In several days it will be opened in St. Petersburg. And uh, yeah, maybe about same in Ufa. Because I now was walking through uh, one of the oldest McDonald's is here in Ufa, next to Gestine Dvor. And uh, it's closed, but I can see that there's the light and there are some words goes. Because uh, McDonald's Corporation sold all their restaurants to Alexander Gover, businessman who already had 25 McDonald's restaurants in Russia, owned by him through franchise, franchise, franchise. Uh, so he knows like what to do. They sold it to him because like he knows how to do this, uh, how to continue making business because they sold it like all the restaurants with the employees because McDonald's kept paying to all their employees even after they closed the restaurants with all the kitchen equipment, kitchen stuff, the suppliers contracts, menu, menu. But it's only in, it's only in, it's only impossible to use the logo. Like you can't call it McDonald's. Now it's called Vkusna i Tochka. Tasty and that's it. Or tasty full stop or tasty period. Okay. Uh, and uh, look, uh, so, but the main thing, the main thing, the, the most interesting option in the contract is that within two years, McDonald's Corporation will be able to buy all these restaurants back, okay? Rich Russian guy bought all 850 McDonald's restaurants, yes, yes. But you need to understand that they sold it for like for for almost nothing relatively for nothing okay but you know this is what i thought's gonna happen i thought that what will happen is that soon like look when mcdonald's restaurants were closed 20 percent of them owned by franchise franchise 
we're running. And I predicted that soon we will see like, uh, like immediately like all the restaurants will become like franchise restaurants. But well, it worked a little bit different. They just saved like all everything except logo, except logo. And uh, now it's under control of one former McDonald's franchiser, okay, who now control it all. And uh, maybe uh, in a couple years, if they really like plan to buy it back. So it's now like, you know, in the same restaurants, on the same equipment, with the same raw materials from the same suppliers, the guys just will do the same burgers, but it's just like cold difference. Because after all, McDonald's are not idiots. So it's now like, it's like all the virtue signaling. But they understand that sooner or later, they need to get it back. Dudes, thank you for watching today. I don't know, maybe I'll read tomorrow. I will go to uh, village. I don't know. Thirty tips. McDonald's sold out cheap with option of getting it back later after things settle down in order to avoid the criticism. Yes, because all this case with McDonald's started just after the professor of Yale University, Jason Sonnefeld, the fan of cancel culture. The fan of cancel culture started a very common thing. He started a very common thing because in the coming times, there was such a, you know, wall of fame, wall of fame, uh, wall of shame, wall of, yes, there was wall of fame and wall of shame. It's like they publicly, uh, they publicly, they published the photographs of the guys who used to show like bad behavior. For example, on a factory, those ones who were drunking and was not coming to work or was coming late too much um, or was like you know marked with bad behavior they were getting on the uh, wall of shame so that's it Jason Sonnefeld started the just excel you know it's like how to lose so how to lose a multi-billion dollars business just because of excel Excel shit. Uh, so it's like really like a little Excel file with only two columns. 
naughty and nice list. One column nice, another naughty. Like all the Western companies who kept operating in Russia after the beginning of the special military operation in Ukraine, they were in the list of naughty, naughty. But as soon as the companies applied that they are going away, Jason Frigging Sonnefeld was moving it to the nice. And uh, this file got a very big popularity around the uh, those like who have nothing to do. I mean, just like some jerks who are sitting at home, okay? And they have nothing more to do than hating all over the world, okay? I believe that just some time ago they were the specialists in climate change, then specialists in coronavirus. Now they are the specialists in uh, Russia, Donbass, Ukraine conflict, okay? And so they just like those companies who never applied that they are going away, they were hating them all over the social networks and they started hating McDonald's and McDonald's reacted on it and at the 8th of March 2022 they said they are okay they are temporary stuff the operation in Russia at first they claimed that they stopped for four to five days with a save of uh, their salaries for all their employees and they will keep pay the rent uh, for all their restaurants okay but they they were hoping they they made the virtual signaling the virtual signal uh, because of those idiots the fans of can cancel culture but you see they were hoping that the special military operation or call it war whatever uh, will will be over soon but it's that happens and they already were in position when it's like really like awkward to say that okay but okay we are getting back we are getting back so now they they had to accept this uh that they and they sold it sold the business with the option uh to buy it back in two years and they sold it to the person who already knows exactly knows how to run uh, mcdonald's because that guy already had 25 McDonald's restaurants he owned it by franchising. They want him to change the logo and the names of the burgers, but they want him to keep making what he was making. So when McDonald's will get back, and they will get back, uh, like people do not really feel big difference. I think that anyway, people like will continue going to the McDonald's and they will call it McDonald's. 98% of people will still call it McDonald's. That's why it's such a ridiculous name. Vkusna i točka, like tasty and that's it. I mean, it's really like even hard to pronounce. They specially made it so, you know, I think this is intentionally so. Such a ridiculous name. that this brand name never become a new legend okay that's it But actually, soon it's about to get over because, you know, the uh, advance of Russian army is pretty significant now. You know, Mariupol is done, Energodar is done, Melitopol is done, Kherson is done, Severodonetsk is done, Svetlogorsk, Svetogorsk is done. Slavinsk is about to be done. Russia is uh, finishing 
the special military operation. What advantage of uh, the Russian army now confirms even by the Western media, Western experts, they said that, let's say, let's say in artillery, the advantage of Russia is like one to one to ten. It's like on one Ukrainian shell, there is uh, ten Russian shells. It means that in real it's even more. Um, hi, Sergey. Who is your favorite writer among Bunin, Dostoevsky, Turgenev, and Tolstoy? Friends. Okay, Frank, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much. Who is your favorite writer among Bunin, Dostoevsky, Turgenev, and Tolstoy? Well, Dostoevsky and Tolstoy are absolutely great. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Turgenev, but Turgenev is great in uh, describing the nature, stuff like that. Um, I like uh, I like Chekhov. I like Chekhov. Besides Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, I love Pushkin. Well, Pushkin, it's hours old Pushkin. Um, <laughs> if talk about like favorites, favorites, you know, Do Dostoevsky, he is really great, but if you're somehow feeling down and depressed, you better don't read Dostoevsky because he's gonna make you even more depressed, okay? Okay, dudes, I will go home now. Tomorrow, I don't know, maybe tomorrow I will go to, to the village, to my village. I really miss the village. I want the countryside. And I want... Uh, I want the countryside. And I want pork loin. Okay, dudes. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed Ofa, the embankment of Bele River, White River, or in Bashir language, Agadel. Uh, See you tomorrow. Bye, dudes. Good fella, one beer is tasty, and that says yes. No way, Jose. Imperia da Branil, McDonald's, Barry Brin, Manuel 103, Marsha, 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 Floykin, Pablo, Azim Conras, Jennifer, Big Changas, Diecast. Green Man KK and 66. Okay, Barney Blair, Barney Breeze. See you all.